This game recap is brought to you by Manscaped's Foot Duster Foot Deodorant. Say goodbye to stinky foot funk with this essential deodorant spray. Head over to manscaped.com and use the promo code SACCITY for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. The Foot Duster Foot Deodorant by Manscaped. The best protection any place below the waist. Justin Jefferson is good at football. Very good. Really, really good at football. He's very good. And this is why I told people in fantasy to draft. I would be okay with drafting him second overall right behind Jonathan Taylor. He is that dude. He is special. He is great. Packers now have lost back-to-back season openers by the score of 61 to 10. Not that that is like a crazy sad and telling stat for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, but on the Minnesota Vikings side, Aaron, you the, – the Packers defense – uh, the Packers offense, obviously a very highly regarded, uh, at least with Aaron Rodgers throwing the ball. You were concerned about this Minnesota Vikings defense heading into the season. Did you see anything good from the Vikings defense that makes you say, okay, maybe they're on the right track to getting better? Or was this still the same old offense is just that good and carrying them to victories? Uh, no, it's not fair to say that today. Um, I think their defense played really well. Um, I thought that they got after Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, Green Bay's banged up on the offensive line. Obviously, there's some wide receiver issues. But I'm going to say this. There was a play early in the game. It was 7 nothing Minnesota. Aaron Rodgers throws a deep ball to Christian Watson, wide open for a touchdown. That's basically, He walks in the end zone. He's 15 yards ahead of the game. Right through it. I mean, just, just drops the ball. I, I think this entire game is different has, if he catches that ball. I don't think Aaron Rodgers trusts his receivers and we knew this could be an issue. Um, And I thought that was the biggest play of the game. Honestly, to me, that was the play of the game because overall I actually thought that Packers defense did not play that bad, um, but they were never on the field. They were always on the field. Minnesota was, was just moving up and down the field with Justin Jefferson, but then green Bay couldn't do anything offensively. And It was three and out, three and out, three and out. And then they got a big lead. And then the Packers defense really got better in the second half, but their offense just never got anything going. Minnesota's defense played well the entire game, but I didn't know whether to attribute that to Minnesota's defense or to the lack of of, um, offense for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, It's going to be, to me, a learning curve here for the Packers. And I think that's what I attribute how good Minnesota's defense played more so than anything. So I'm, I'm reserving my right to wait and see. Uh, for Minnesota's defense. I'm still going to wait and see. I want to see an offense that's more put together than Green Bay's is right now. Because we've seen this before. Saw this last year in New Orleans. Week one, they, they, they Green Bay looked like crap. And then next thing you know, they're in the NFC Championship game. So um, I will tell you, Aaron Jones has to touch the ball a lot more. He's their best offensive player. I'm sorry. I love A.J. Dillon and all, but he doesn't have the explosiveness of an Aaron, Aaron Jones. 10 carries for 45 yards and a touchdown is nice. But Aaron Jones ran the ball five times and ran for 50 yards and was more explosive than A.J. Dillon. He has to touch the ball more. And Christian Watson has to make that catch. Or he's going to find himself. Uh, Romeo Dubs started to make some plays late in that game and some catches and Aaron Rodgers were throwing to him. I worry that he, he finds a connection with somebody. Aaron Rodgers will ne- never let that go. So I worry about that as well. Yeah, that, I mean, that was that was like the telling sign. Like we were we were clipping and doing highlights for for work, and it was like, you know, if we're telling a story here, if we're if we're telling a story here of what the Packers day looked like, that telling sign of that Christian Watson drop was like that's the that that is the story setter because what happened there is is just so huge. Um, I this was one of the teams that I said during the when we were re- previewing these games, I was like. Really interested to see what wide receiver steps up uh, and, and go and Aaron Rodgers goes to. And I don't think we got an answer from that. You look at this game and I don't, I was going to make a graphic for it and I didn't. Um, Devontae Adams in Vegas, 10 receptions, 141 yards and a touchdown. Packers wide receivers as a whole, 12 receptions, 120 yards total. Um, they're missing. Devontae, they will miss and they are going to miss Devontae Adams. Player of the game, though, no arguments. I, I definitely think we all can agree that Justin Jefferson is the player of the game here. 11 targets, nine receptions, 184 yards, and two 
touchdowns. I mean, the man had six receptions, 158 yards in just the first half with those two touchdowns. He is special. He is the best wide receiver in the NFL, in my opinion. Aaron, what's the play of the game? Yeah, the play of the game here is the Justin Jefferson touchdown, the second one. Um, I don't Again, I don't know how he's wide open, but just his ability after the catch to also make a guy miss, get in the end zone all night long. He just, he is, again, the ultimate super slow motion here. I don't know why that happened. Um, you know, my this is what happens when you click fast. <laughs> but Justin Jefferson's ability to make plays and find open space in zone coverage, beat man-to-man coverage, and then run after the catch is like very few people in the NFL. The man's special, and when he says he wants to be the greatest, um, he's well on pace right now. And I get it, it's only year three, but he is going to break a ton of records. A a ton of records the way he's going right now. Shout out to Justin Jefferson. Yeah, I mean, he's already already making uh, Vikings history. He had the most, he now is second all time for Vikings uh, receivers with uh, 150 plus reception yards and two touchdowns in a game. Randy Moss did it five times. Justin Jefferson has already done it three times in his short career. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings next up will travel to um, Philly to take to take on the Eagles on Sunday, and the Packers will host the Chicago Bears on Sunday Night Football. Mm-hmm. 